All right, so we left it off where we, as soon as we created a post, the post was added to the post list, right? We didn't have a way to actually have dates or whether or not it's a draft, right? So if you're writing a post and you want to publish it in the future, um, say, for instance, you don't want it to be a draft after a certain date goes by or you want it to be a draft all the time, we don't really have a way to actually do that. Um, so in this one, we're going to add those fields into our model and then we are going to um, add it to the functionality of how all that stuff's going to work. So let's go ahead and go back to our models and we're going to jump in to models.py and in here we're going to add a couple fields. The first one is going to be a boolean field and it's going to just be draft. We'll say models.boolean field and we're going to say default equals to false and then we're going to add publish is models.date field, not a date time field. And now we do auto now equals to tr uh, false and auto now add also equals to false. Um, cool. So now we've got these two fields in here. So since we've made some changes to the models, we'll do python manage.py make migrations. And right now it's saying that you're trying to add a non nullable field to the database. This means that the field that we just set, so uh, the publish field, cannot be null in the database. That means it can't be empty in the database or nothing in the database. So we have to either provide a default value, which is like what we did with the Boolean. With the Boolean field, we added default equals to false. In the publish field, we didn't add a default value. We didn't say default equals to today or, or anything of that sort. So since that's the case, we actually have to provide one or go back into our model and say that it can be null or blank. Um, mostly null is the main part here for the database. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and provide a one-off value. So by selecting one, this means that everything in the database currently, we're going to add a default value for all those or actually add a value for all those. So all the ones in the database are going to have one value and then the future values or the future instances that we create will not have any particular value. We will be able to set them on their own. So there won't be a default value. All right, so now, um, as you see here, when we select one, it gives us date time as well as time zone modules. So all I can do here is time zone dot now. And this works perfectly for our publish field. So our publish field has to do with date and uh, the date field, it's a date field. So time zone dot now will actually set that date field to today's date. Um, it's not gonna include the time, but it will um, set it to today's date. So I press enter. And that's that. So now I do python manage.py migrate and there we go. So let's go ahead and run the server. And I'm going to make a few changes real quick here in the forms. I'm going to add those two new fields. So draft and publish. All right. So I'm going to save that and we're going to refresh in our project and we'll click on a post and go to edit. We now see that we have two fields in here, draft and publish. So these are the fields that we can work with draft, whether or not we want it to be shown uh, to the public and publish whether or not we want it to be shown to the public as well. But after a certain time, those aren't always the same, right? So you could actually have a publish date in the past, meaning it's, but also have it as a draft, meaning you're still working on it, but technically it was published in the past um, or you already published it and you just want to pull it off of the site. You can just quickly do draft and that way it will pull it right off of the site. So it's kind of a way to like make it private um, as well. We just call it draft because that's essentially what you would be calling it when you're writing a blog post. So when you're doing some sort of article. Um, okay, cool. So now that we've got this, let's go ahead and just take a look at the create here and we're going to create a new one. So I'll just say new car and new car, grab that car image again. And we're going to call this draft and the publish date I'm going to set in here. You have to do the four digit year. So 2016, which is the year we're in now, uh, which is amazing. And we'll do the date. So the month, um, so zero one all the way to one, two, you would not do one for January. You do zero one. You have to have that first zero in there. And then you can do some arbitrary day. That's of course a valid day in that month. So in this case, the 10th, now I create this post creates the post. It actually comes up, shows up just fine. Um, so now what I want to do is actually change the date that's being shown up. Instead of showing uh, the timestamp, we will show the publish date. So back into our post list, I'm going to change the object.timestamp into object.publish. 
save that and then I'm gonna get rid of a go and then into post detail uh, instance dot publish and we'll save that and refresh and now we see the publish date or the date that it will be published notice this shows in the future right it's not showing now how it is but it's showing what's going to happen in the future so that's something that we want to kind of avoid when it comes to the end user but for us as the super user we can see this just fine and i also want to show if it's been a or if it's in draft mode or not so i'll do if instance dot draft then i'm going to add a little span in here with a style of color red and i'll say draft close off that span close off the end if okay and there we go now if i refresh in here it's now showing that it's a draft right um so that that's all we're going to do as far as uh, this one's concerned the next thing is to think about how do we actually adjust our query set and also um, the object seeing the object itself how do we adjust those things without uh, with taking into account the draft and publish stuff um, and we're going to do that by using model managers um, as well as object filters so i'm going to show you both of those things in the next one so filtering a new type of filtering or querying um, and then also a manager so we can actually have a easy call for the active things all right so if you have any questions on this one let us know otherwise let's keep going